estás aquí es porque compartes el amor por la informática y la tecnología que han cambiado el mundo en las últimas décadas. Y detrás de esos avances hay nombres que siempre resaltan, personas que han revolucionado la informática y han creado herramientas y tecnologías que todos usamos hoy en día. Personas como Alan Turing, Margaret Hamilton, Guido Van Rosso, Linus Torvalds y Anders Hardware. Alan Turing, un genio matemático y científico informático, conocido por su trabajo en la descodificación de los mensajes encriptados nazis durante la Segunda Guerra Mundial. Además, es el padre de la informática teórica y la inteligencia artificial. Margaret Hamilton, una de las primeras programadoras de la NASA, contribuyó en el desarrollo del software de la misión Apollo, lo que permitió a los astronautas pisar la luna. The errors. The 24 hour turnaround encouraged us much careful thought and playing computer at the front end. Again, a solution of getting closer to the front end to make better programs. There was a fascination with errors on my part. A never-ending pastime of mine was to look for more ways to understand what made a particular error or class of errors happen and how to prevent it in the future. Sage definitely came with drama, especially having to do with errors. But this was only the beginning of what would come next, the Apollo Onboard Flight Software Project at MIT, under contract to NASA. The challenge was unique, build man-rated software, meaning astronauts' lives were at stake. It had to work, and it had to work the first time. Not only did the software itself have to be ultra-reliable, but it would need to be able to detect an error and recover from it in real time. Learning was again by doing and being. Hardware engineers had come to the project with rules. We didn't. Problems had to be solved that never had been solved before, and at times we just made it up. Most developers were fearless and young, yet dedication and commitment a given. Managers, mostly from hardware backgrounds for whom software was a mystery, gave us total freedom and trust. There was no time to be a beginner. First, I started working on the unmanned missions, as we all did. At this time, the flight software was synchronous. We started with the primitive languages with the very few instructions, the block one. Guido Van Rosso, creador del popular lenguaje de programación Python, es uno de los referentes en el mundo del software y ha influido en muchos aspectos de la programación moderna. We have to write in, um, for Amoeba, is basically a shell, either a shell script or a C program. And I found that there were downsides to either of those. And I thought, well, I wish there was a third language that was sort of in the middle of those that felt more like a genuine programming language, like on the C side, but that was perhaps interpreted, easier to use, sort of, more concise of expression like shell scripts but without the sort of terrible properties in terms of readability of shell scripts i thought hmm i can build my own building an interpreter is going to take me two or three months and i'll win that time back by increased productivity not just for myself but for the whole team well those three months sort of ballooned to more and more time I don't think we, on the Amoeba project, we ever gained that productivity back. And Amoeba sort of mostly produced scientific papers. Python slowly became... Linus Torvalds, creador del sistema operativo Linux, ha logrado unir a una comunidad mundial de desarrolladores detrás de un proyecto de código abierto que se ha convertido en una pieza clave en la informática moderna. 
I mean, that's that's one of the worries I think most people who start out have is that they worry about somebody taking advantage of their work, right? And uh, I decided, what the hell, right? Huh. And uh, and then at some point, someone contributed some code that you thought, wow, that really is interesting. I would not have thought of that. This could actually improve this. It didn't even start by people contributing code. It was more that people started contributing ideas. And just the fact that somebody else takes a look at your project, and I'm sure it's true of other things too, but it's definitely true in code, is that somebody else takes an interest in your code, looks at it enough to actually give you feedback and give you ideas, which that was a huge thing for me. I mean, so I was 21 at the time, so I was young, but I'd already programmed for half my life, basically. And every project before that had been completely personal, and it was a revelation when people just started commenting, started giving feedback on your code. And even before they started giving code back, uh, that was, I think, one of the big moments where I said, I love other people. Anders Halsberg, creador de lenguajes de programación como C Sharp y TypeScript, ha sido un líder en la evolución de la programación orientada a objetos y funcional. I grew up in uh, uh, just north of Copenhagen in, in Denmark, sort of a very nice middle class, un, uh, you know, un, unremarkable, <laughs> you know, but but. I was fortunate enough to attend a high school that was one of the first in Denmark to uh, give the students access to a computer. Uh, and this is way before micros. Uh, in fact, the first computer the school had, had all the, the only I.O. device was a teletype and a paper punch uh, reader and writer. Uh, but then I think the one that, that we had access to when I finally made it into high school, and we're talking about like the mid 70s here, mm -hmm. uh, was an HP 2100 with uh, 32K of ferrite core memory. Mm -hmm. um, and you could literally see the right cores. I mean, we opened it up and boy, trust me, we did everything to that computer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and, and it had a 14 inch, one megabyte hard drive, which was just state of the art. Mm -hmm. uh, and I mean, and we sort of, we kind of joked, you know, or I've, I've joked before that for the first two weeks, uh, the teachers were trying to teach us how this computer works. And then, and then for, the, for the remaining time, we taught them how it worked, you know, because we just spent all the time we could on this, on this darn computer and, and figured everything out, you know, like how to right. program it, machine code. Right. It came with, uh, it was an HP, an HP 2100. It came with, uh, a, I think there was a, an implementation of which was sort of, yeah. Uh, and then there was Algol, HP Algol, um, mm -hmm. which was Hewlett Packard's variant of, of I'm, I, I, I don't know, it's lost in history what, what, <laughs> how that differed from, from regular Algol. Although one thing I do remember is it did not support recursion. Mm -hmm. um, so, so you have to be careful uh, <laughs> to not have your functions call themselves because then you never saw that program again. Estos son solo algunos ejemplos de personas que han dejado su huella en el mundo del software, pero ¿Por qué menciono esto? Porque detrás de cada uno de ellos hay una historia de pasión y de dedicación y de perseverancia. Así como ellos, tú eres capaz de cambiar el mundo con tu trabajo. A veces puede que te sientes frustrado, estancado en un bug que parece no tener solución, o que la presión de los plazos y las entregas te abrumen. Pero debes recordar que en cada desafío hay una oportunidad de aprendizaje y crecimiento. En cada proyecto hay una posibilidad de hacer algo grandioso. Es emocionante cuando finalmente resuelves un bug que ha llevado horas o incluso días. Cuando ves en producción una aplicación que has desarrollado y que sabes que beneficia desde miles a millones de personas en su día a día. Así que no te desanimes, sigue adelante, continúa aprendiendo y desarrollando. A lo largo del camino habrá éxitos y fracasos. Pero lo importante es nunca perder esa pasión y ese amor por la programación. Quiero que sepas que los avances de la inteligencia artificial no te quitarán el trabajo, siempre y cuando dejes de copiar todo lo que te sale en ChatGPT sin entender lo que hace ese código. La IA necesita de personas como tú para seguir evolucionando y desarrollándose. Las posibilidades con la IA son infinitas, así que sigue adelante, continúa aprendiendo y desarrollando tus habilidades. Recuerda que en cada éxito hay horas de trabajo duro y dedicación. Y sobre todo, nunca pierdas esa pasión y amor por la informática que te hizo elegir este camino. Tú eres la fuerza motriz detrás de la tecnología y gracias a tu trabajo, el futuro está lleno de posibilidades emocionantes. Sigamos adelante y cambiemos el mundo juntos.